If you struggle to write blog posts, I'm gonna teach you the secret formula to writing the most extraordinary, amazing, next level posts that will not only draw people in, it'll keep them coming back for more. Okay, so here's the thing. Most people who don't write for a living think that writers sit down and just start writing. And of course, writers who write know that that's not the case. We usually have outlines or we have structures, little tricks that makes writing easier. It's hard to sit down and have that little, that little cursor blinking at you and think, what do I wanna talk about? What's gonna happen? Or maybe you have an idea, but how do I flesh this out and where do I go? I'm gonna very quickly explain to you my approach to writing blogs that I use for my clients, that I teach to my content writers, and that has never let me down. Okay, so step one, you need a pitch. Whether you're pitching this to a client or you're pitching this to yourself, you need a concept, an idea, you need a pitch. And so what you're gonna do is you are gonna come up with the topic that it is you wanna speak about. That topic has to be in the form of a pitch that's definitive. You have to be able in that pitch to take a stand or decide how you're gonna explore something or what the topic is about. So for example, if you're a marketer, you might wanna have the pitch be, uh, email marketing has been around for 20 years what is working today that has worked since day one? Maybe if you're in contracting, the pitch might be the secret formula that contractors and kitchen designers use to make sure space layout is absolutely beautiful. I don't know, whatever. It's the pitch, it's the idea. Got it? Good. Next, once you have the pitch, here's what you're gonna do. Write your headline, make it snazzy. You're gonna come up with some kind of title that just draws people in, that gets their attention. Develop an H1, a headline, something snappy that, that explains what this is about that hooks people in. Then write your H2, the subheadline. This provides a little bit more context. This explains what the post is gonna be about. And so the reason why you start with a pitch is it gives you direction. You write the H1, it's a bit of a hook and a promise for where the post is gonna go, and the H2. You start there. Now, what do you do next? Write the conclusion. Ah, this is different. This is interesting, right? Write the conclusion because that conclusion better arrive at a specific point. You have to say what only you can say. You can't research your way to our perspective. And so if it's the 20 secrets that have been around for 20 years with email marketing, sure, you might need to do some research to find out what those might be or what the themes might be or this or that. But what is your take on this? And you need to write that conclusion next because that is the destination that the blog post is going to arrive at. And if you do that, you're not gonna wander your way all over the place. And now that you have all of those things, you can go do additional research, you can go do additional writing, you can do whatever you need to do to literally fill in the middle. Maybe it's a listicle, maybe it's a 10 questions and answers with an expert, maybe it's pulling a video that someone else made and then you talking about why that serves your purpose. It doesn't matter. Whatever it needs to be, to be interesting and to be dynamic and to help you go from where you started to where you ended. But see, here's the thing, most people start with maybe writing a title or maybe they write the title last. And then when they get to the end, you never really answer the question, you never really take a stand, you don't really explain anything or draw people in or take people on a journey, you don't really ever end anywhere. And so when you're writing your posts, focus on the pitch, determine what your destination is, and then use the whole middle section to have a lot of fun, inject some personality into here, some perspective, some language and voice and tone. Whether it's a top 10 list, or whether it's a case study on a single person, or whether it's a narrative story, it literally doesn't matter. Because that's the flavor, that's the fun, that's the thing that keeps it different from week to week, or month to month, or year to year as you're writing. But what shouldn't change is you should never wander away from your pitch. You should always focus on a title that draws people in, that makes a promise of what you will explore. And you should always have a destination. Sounds simple, doesn't it? It really is that simple. Try it out for yourself and then leave a comment for me and tell me if this worked for you. And like always, I want you to remember to think big, to be bold, and you gotta say yes.
You don't have to wear <laughs> shoes all the time. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.